Hey, it's John and Mike from BrewDashDudes.com, and uh, here in the United States of America, we have Thanksgiving. It's happening, and what goes better with uh, your turkey and your stuffing but uh, some cider? Cider. Some people in the states will call it hired cider, but you know those in the know know it's just cider. It's yes. Just, cider. All the rest is just pressed juice. So this is from Mr. Mike. He made a cider. And the clarity is incredible. Number one, he bottled this up. He um, he made this. How many? When did you make this? A couple months ago. Uh, yeah, le yeah, probably almost two months ago. All right, and just uh, hold it up. Yeah, hold that up. Yeah, take that picture. Great. Put that on Instagram or something. I don't know. Figure that out. Um, so look at that. He bottled this up, and it's sparkling. It's clear, and. On the nose is plenty of apples, and I know that there are some people who are like, ah, I just brew beer, but if you really get into it and you want something to be pretty simple to do, I'll tell you that making cider in at home is some simple stuff. Yeah. Uh, you get some juice, you put some yeast in it, and then you just take some time, and there you go, right? I'll tell you, absolutely. So did you, so you bottled this, mm -hmm. Did you use mm. natural carbonation? Did you add sugar back in there, or did I, you? I put some table sugar in there really? to get the carbonation. Really, yeah. really. Let me taste this. So I, I fermented it completely, um, and ah. I fermented it out completely. I let it rest, and once it started to look like it was clearing up in the fermenter, and this was just a two and a half gallon batch, um, I. I bottled it. I used the bottling bucket. <laughs> I, we did the, the just like the olden days. Yes, I I, uh, it's like last decade, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't do it this way too often, but I really wanted to be able to for cider like this. I wanted to, I didn't want to have a whole keg of it taking up space. Yeah. I want to be able to put bottles as I want to drink them in the fridge, um, and just store the rest because I think this stuff will hold well. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's why I bottled it. And I've got I've got a couple other versions which we'll taste in the future. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Coming along too. So, uh, but this is they're just off camera. Right part there. one of uh, <laughs> Mike's cheap and easy cider process. I love it. So, did you back sweeten at all? No. So, what yeast strain did you use? This is Nottingham. Nottingham. Yes, yep. I've used Nottingham before. Yeah, and it I worked it. really well. Um, in the past, when I've made cider, I've boiled up a pound of a dry malt extract and made what I call malted cider but you know we've talked about it before a little bit my ability to find time to brew beer sometimes is a challenge <laughs> and I I had some free time where I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna try to make some ciders as many as I can with some different variations because it's fast and easy yes if you if you take a fast and easy approach right and so that's that's what I did. And for me, I just looked in the thing, I said, Nottingham is what I have, that's what I'm going to use. Mm. So to be so to be honest, this batch was, it's again, it's two and a half gallons, uh, uh, and then a batch with a, a, a full envelope of Nottingham. And I also added a little yeast nutrient yep. um, from like the mead making days and stuff. Yep. There's a little bit of that because, you know, this is, it's mostly sugar. There's not a lot of nutrient there for the yeast to do their thing. So um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's how I did it. Um, Did you take any gravity readings on this? Uh, I think the the gravity of the juice itself is about 1042. Yeah. Oh, so cheap and easy. So cheap and easy. Cheap and easy cider brewing. <laughs> so I went to one of the local supermarkets and I looked specifically for no preservatives. Right. So I never. I always passed this stuff up in the store because I figured it would have preservative in it. Right. Mm. But I suddenly, I listened to, a, I can't remember which podcast I listened to, but they talked about just buy 100% apple juice, it's okay if it's from concentrate, this is filtered water, apple juice concentrate, and ascorbic acid. And that's it. And that's it. And so the cool thing with the ascorbic acid is it actually helps with the acidity, the brightness. Yes. <laughs> that's why it's in there anyway, right? Uh, yeah. So I really wanted to go cheap and easy. Mm. Um, so I used the, you know, the, the two and a half gallon uh, better bottle fermenter. With about with three of these guys, one package of Nottingham, uh, like half a teaspoon of yeast nutrient, and let it go. Um, oh, so then the thing that because I'm really crafty, cheap and easy, is when this batch was done, uh, with what was, so with, when this batch was done and I was ready to make more cider, I took one of these, 
I poured it into, on the thin Nottingham yeast cake. I took one of these, put it in there. <laughs> really? Shook it up to get it free. Yeah. Split it in half into a second fermenter, and then added <laughs> two, more two more and two more. Wow. And then, I won't tell you what the variants were until we get to taste the variants. Until we get to it, yeah. But, so I bought, you know, like, like five more of these, wow. and so I made, that's how I did it. So I just repitched the yeast. I had a little more yeast nutrient to get a good ferment. Um, so that's what we've got going. And actually, I will tell you, I drank one of these like a little over a week ago, mm. and um, there was a strange, not 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 strong, but there was a flavor in it that I was like, oh, maybe maybe this cheap and easy process isn't the best, but that flavor has actually aged out of it. What was the flavor? There's a little bit of like a, hmm. yeah, it's gone. Um, <laughs> Let's go well, check. Maybe, it's, maybe it's there. There's a little bit of like a like a styrene plastic note to it, okay. but it's definitely dropped out. Out, okay, yeah. Unless you get it, do you get something weird in there? No, no I didn't, I don't think there's anything weird in there. I think that there's, um, I mean, it, it, there's bright apple, yep. with like acidic yep. bright yep. apple. Yep. Not a lot of sweetness, but it's like, it's almost like because of the, the acidic and, and it uh, finishes dry, Yeah. you don't really miss it. Um, and it's really hard to actually back sweeten a cider if you're yes, going to if you're going to bottle it. Bottle it, yes, right? I agree. Um, That's which, why I, kegging was the big revolution. The revelation I had last year mm -hmm. was I did yeah. like add a little bit yep. of like apple concentrate just to get more of yep. an apple and, character and I think, to it. Um, and then I I've heard about tried. that and tried yeah. that myself where you get like a the frozen concentrate yes. and put that in there. Yeah, um, I think that's a cool technique, but you're. But you have to be kegging because you're not making a shelf stable no, product, no, right? No, you're not. Um, I what I wanted. So there was a tasting at our local liquor store recently. Oh yeah. There's a a, a big name meadery, mm -hmm. which we won't mention here yet uh, until they want to sponsor the program. <laughs> but um, there's a they, but they've started making some ciders, and I think I told you about this. Yep. And I tasted a couple, and I came to the realization that you know what, I like a cider that is has a lot of apple character but is dry. Yep. So I, I realized, you know what, I don't need to worry about this back sweetening thing and that's or, you know, trying to pasteurize or something like that. I'm just gonna get some of this apple juice, I'm gonna ferment it and see what I get, and then we're gonna play with it. Yep. Um love it. So for me in my palate, um I don't drink a lot of cider, but this is fun, easy to do. Yep. And uh and you get stuff. And and you people come over who don't want to drink beer and stuff like we we're host we host bingo my family we host a yep. we host my wife's family my family for thanksgiving yep. um and i'm planning on having a couple ciders ready and we've yep. got the beer but yep. i think the ciders will be a big hit and i like it dry and i like it crisp i like the acidity because i just like that so it's good i agree yep i think that's it's not i would say this it's not as complex as some of the ciders you've made with maybe a blend of apples and stuff mm. like that. We have an, another friend of ours who's done some um, really cool things with cider too. Um, but it's, uh, but you know what, for just a straight up approachable, yeah. every man cider, <laughs> um, good. it's good. And it's better than the commercial examples out there that yeah. are, like, are kind of yeah. like Alka-Pop for yeah, sure. Yeah, and I think yeah. They, sh they push it almost too dry. Yeah, I... And I think that's the magic of using a English ale yeast yes. that wants to quit early. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Know? Well, that's the thing, and I think that's why. Yeah. That's, that's why I used that. to put the DME yeah. in there because I it would hold up the final gravity. Like I think this guy finished out at like uh, 10.04, 10.05. Okay. Right. So it's, it's pretty dry. Yeah. But yeah, then there's a lot of like apple brightness. I think that's the the big tip for everybody. If you want to break up your home brewing uh, mm. habit. <laughs> Or if you're just feeling like, yeah, I'd like to do something different. Or if you don't have time, I mean, this is something yeah. that does not take that much time at all. And the cool thing is you can do this any time of year. That's true that. Right? Yeah, you can go right to the, your grocery store. You know, store. Make, make a nice dry average. You don't even have to supplement sugar in here. Just make this straight up. And then save the complex cool ciders for apple pressing season. That's right. Right? So, uh, yeah, I have to kick mine. Because that's awesome. mine is the the complex one, okay. and I actually used um, Safe Ale's cider yeast. So oh, nice! We'll have, love it. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, so this is for our cider making friends out there, like Cider Meister. Cider Meister. He's the guy who follows us on YouTube. So appreciate the uh, your time and watching our video. If you like it, please like this video. Uh, subscribe to our channel because we appreciate that as well. 
we like to you know share our content with you and uh, if you are subscribed you'll probably get alerts and all that stuff when we post videos which is every week for John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, Cider On. Cheers!